In case you haven't noticed, there's an election coming up. And if you're an ordinary person like me, you probably get confused and concerned at election time. Confused? Because you can't tell the difference between the politicians from the big parties. You can't tell Labour from Tory or Tory from Labour because they look the same, talk the same, walk the same and even play the same game with their expenses. Even their bloody policies seem to be the same. That worries me because I know and you know there's a lot wrong with this country and there's a lot that needs to change. I'm concerned that after the election, when Labour and the Tories have finished their infighting, nothing will change. Things will stay exactly as they are because there's nothing new in what they say about the real issues that affect ordinary people like you and me. There's nothing original or different in their policies on crime, immigration and jobs. And there's nothing different in the way they make themselves seem so out of touch with ordinary people. I'm also worried that when you do get offered a choice at the ballot box, it seems to be for a party who are either too extreme for reasonable people like you and me, or too narrow-minded to deal with the issues of government. Who could blame you for not wanting to vote at all? Sometimes it all just seems like a waste of time. Here in Barking, you can see the worst of the mistakes from the last 25 years of Tory and Labour government. Walk down almost any street and you'll see graffiti on every square inch of wall. You'll see boarded up shops and derelict houses. But remember, every piece of graffiti is an expression of frustration and anger felt by our kids. The kids we're supposed to be building a future for. Every boarded up shop tells a story of a business that the owner grafted to build up only to find they couldn't survive because of the cost of government regulations, unfair competition from companies employing cheap immigrant labour. Each and every derelict house was once a home to a family, a family like yours and mine, their lives, dreams and aspirations shattered by a total lack of commitment and invest in their community. Is it any wonder we see this graffiti and filth everywhere? Is it any wonder crime is always on the agenda? Is it any wonder ordinary people are frightened to walk down their own streets? And despite the outcry of local people, the Labour government seem hell-bent on rubbing your nose in it. In my constituency, the dream of an Olympic boom has been shattered because the government have allowed cheap overseas workers to take the jobs from honest working class people of Barking. Those same people have been let down by their council who brought in an unfair bidding system which penalises local families. Families who have waited patiently on the housing list for years. Their own MP, Lady Hodge, was responsible for introducing university tuition fees, denying our kids the opportunity of a better education and a better future. It seems at every term Labour wants to knock down the ordinary people who voted them in. There is no investment. No hope for jobs, no future for our children. In short, the people of Barking have been ripped off. I know the people are crying out for a real change. I'm here to tell you things can be different and the power to change things for the better is in your hands. By changing the way you vote on May the 6th, you can bring a real change in your borough and the country as a whole. I'm not a career politician. I represent a new breed. A new breed of politicians who aren't in it for personal power or financial gain. We want what you want. A fair country where working class people can get what they deserve. A good job, a decent secure home, a hope for the future and the future of their children. If you listen to the main parties, they'll say don't vote for UKIP, don't vote for Frank. Every vote for them is a wasted vote. Then think on this. Look at the mess that the Tories and Labours have made and ask yourself, do I want this to be the same for another 25 years or do I want change? If you know things need to be different, how can a vote for change be wasted but a vote for the same old tired parties? That's a wasted vote. I don't have the education, the background or posh accent of your average MP. I was brought up in South London and had to leave school when I was 15 to make a living. I was short, unqualified and in possession of one give that would see me through. Determination. I've been taught by my dad that if I believe in something, I would always succeed, and life has never proven my old man wrong. When I tried to make it as a boxing promoter, I was told I would never succeed 
because I wanted to be different. Everywhere I went, every door I knocked on, everyone I spoke to told me the same thing. You can't change the rules, Frank. You can't beat the establishment. But I did it. Hard work, determination and sheer bloody minded persistence brought me to where I am today. And what's even better than my own personal success is what I achieved for others. Every kid dreams of making it big and I believe they all deserve a fair chance of achieving what they want. In my career I've helped hundreds of youngsters make it in the boxing world. Not everyone has been a winner but I've helped over a hundred become champions and I worked hard night and day so every single one of them had a shot at reaching their goal. That same commitment, that same determination, that same belief is what I offer to you in this election. I'm not talking about changing the world, just changing our priorities so honest hard working people of Britain can get back what is rightfully theirs and I want to clarify where I stand on key policies. Our rights and freedoms have been given away to Europe but I'm not anti-Europe. I believe in Britain being able to trade freely and determine its own future in the world. That's why Britain must leave the European Union now. Our homes, our jobs have been taken by low paid immigrant workers. But I'm not anti-immigration. I believe in fair balance and controlled immigration is right for our country. That's why we need to freeze immigration for a while. Reverse the uncontrolled flood of illegal immigrants. Our language and traditions I'll be pushed aside out of respect to other cultures. But I'm not a racist. I believe that our country can benefit from cultural diversity. That's why we must start putting British values first and allow other cultures to adapt to ours. It seems that every Tom, Dick and Harry that comes to our country feels they have a right to tell us how we should be doing things. Previous governments have all been too easily led by the militants and the extremists and have allowed themselves to give too much of Britain away. So our homes our jobs, our culture and our Britishness has been drowned in, in immigration. At the same time, our rights and freedoms have been given away to Europe. These are the key problems that have led us to where we are today. Things simply cannot go on the way they are. I'm standing for Parliament because I want to give the people of Barking a fresh alternative, a real alternative. In this election campaign, I hope that people will listen to what I have to say and consider voting for me to be their representative because a vote for the same old parties once again truly would be a wasted vote. Vote for me, Frank Maloney, and I'll fight for Barking, and you're right. I'll fight with the same determination that helped me succeed against the odds in my own life. Help me deliver a knockout blow to the career politicians. Let's lay them to waste because this is our country, my country, and I love this country the way we all love our families. I have my roots here, my dreams here, I want a future for my children here, so I will fight for their rights, their freedom, their future. I'll fight just as hard for you and your families. And we must all fight together for our country and our independence. So I ask you, please don't just nod your head in agreement. Be brave and make a difference at this election and make your vote a vote for real people, a vote for your values, a vote for your country.